Hi, Holly here from Let's Plan. I'm making a quick tutorial video to show you how to add PNG stickers, photos, and digital page inserts. I have already downloaded all my files onto my iPad, so let's begin. First, let's do the PNG stickers. How I like to add my files or my PNG stickers is to go into files. I drag up from the bottom, I get my file folder, and I make the split screen. Then you can search through all the files that you have stored on your iPad by clicking the back button and going to the area where you stored your files. Mine happy to be right here. Oops, I just clicked on that zip folder with all the um, stickers in it. So now it gives me this option where I can go through and click on any of these folders and then click again and scroll through and find the stickers I want. So let me show you really quick. Like if I wanted to this teal remember, you just put your finger on it, drag it, drop it on the page. Now you can resize, um, crop if needed cropped. Let me show you how I would do a whole bunch at once. Like I like to open up one file and then I'll scroll through that file kind of from the top to the bottom and be like, ooh, I like that one. And I like th this one and I like this one. Let's see, and let's say we like that one. Then get rid of your split screen by sliding it over. Now you can take these, even though they're piled up on each other, resize them and place them on your screen where you want them. If you didn't like one of them, once you get onto your screen, the red circle with the X, tap that and it deletes it. So let me show you how you would move one of these within your planner. So you do have to have the tool um, editing mode on, which it is right now. And we're going to go over to this lasso tool. It's the dotted rope, it'll turn blue. So now let's say we wanna take this busy day. What you do is take a little circle, write a little circle, hold down your pencil on it. It gives you this drop or pop-up window. You're going to click copy. Now we're gonna turn off our editing tool and we're gonna just find a page we wanna to go to and place this. So let's say I wanted to place this in my February month. You hold down your pencil, you click paste, and there it is. Obviously it's too big, so then you would drag in and resize it and move it around your screen wherever you wanted to, and then let's click off of it. And that's how easy it is to add these PNG stickers. And there are over uh, a couple thousand stickers come with this planner. So if we were to add them all in your planner, it would bog it down and make it slow. So the pages give you the option to go through and pick the stickers that you like the best. A lot of people like to have a cohesive look, so they'll pick all the same color scheme or same style of sticker. So it's completely up to you. Or if you ever purchase stickers from another seller, you can add them right on these pages and use them in the book the same way, as long as they're PNG sticker files. So now that we did that, let me show you how you would add a photo. And we can add a photo right on this page here. So you would have your toolbar on, your editing mode, and you would find what looks like the little picture icon. I'm pointing at it right now, it just turned blue. So you double click that, it's gonna give you a pop-up window and it's gonna show you all the photos that are linked to your iPad. So let me just click on this one here. You click on the picture, it'll download it onto your screen, and there it is. So obviously it's too big. Um, what we would do if you wanted to crop the picture, if you had a lot of background you didn't like or you know just need to make it a lot smaller, these little side rectangle bars on the sides, so you click one of those, you click on crop. Now you can drag these blue dots in. I hope you can see my picture, picked a picture that's actually rather blue. Um, you get the dots where you want it on the picture and then you click done and then it makes your picture cropped. Then you can go ahead and size it down and put it on one of your squares or wherever you're gonna put it. And that's it, you just click off of it. If you didn't like it, you would have clicked that red circle and you that's how that would be deleted. So now that I showed you that, let me show you how you would add a digital page insert. So let's click off our editing mode and let's go up to like section seven here this is where you would title what your insert page or your bundle is. Actually, let me go back one step for people that might not have watched my other videos. If you click on index, all of these numbered title boxes coincide with all these number tabs up here. So you would write your title for the number seven tab down here in this box. So let's say I was doing fall, I would write fall here, then I would click on it it would bring me to this title box. Here I can write, you know, fall bundle for such and such family, what, whatever you needed to write. This gives you a lot more room to write a bigger title. And then you would click on that title box and it brings you to a blank page. Now, similar to a sticker, we slide up, we take our file folder, we do the split screen, let me get my iPad. Now it's gonna show the last file you were in. We don't want that because those are stickers. So I'm gonna go back. Um, I think I have my 
folder in my downloads. So when you finally go back and it doesn't offer you that blue arrow, you're back as far as you can go. You can click recents or find out where you kept your, um, put your file. So I believe mine are in my downloads. Yeah, it's right here. So I'm gonna click on this fall bundle and it's going to show me all the pages that have come with the fall bundle. So now just like a sticker, you would put your finger on a page, drag it over to the page, this I get rid of my split screen and now you can, oops, now you can resize that picture, which is just like a PNG sticker to fit your screen. Some people like to drag it to fit the entire screen. Some people like to leave a little space to make notes or add pictures, whatever you wanna do, you click off of it and those blue lines go away. If you clicked back on it, you could delete it by the red circle and that is it. So if you ever wanted to change out your bundles, it's really easy to get in there and delete pages if you needed to use that section for let's say a different season. So um, I believe I told you everything I needed to in this video. If you have questions, please message me on Etsy.